Hello friend, in this video I am going to discuss about how to create a pivot table in Power BI. So here I am using a source Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. There I am going to use EMP and DPT table. So this is the record inside EMP table and if you want to see the record inside DPT, right click on it and uh, here. So this is the record inside DPT table. Now let's uh, here move to Power BI and uh, click on transform data and here the new page that open power query editor now i'm going to uh, take uh, our tables so importing the tables so click new source and select sql server and if you don't know about the ip address or pc name right here localhost and this is the optional because uh, this is the database optional i know the database name is adam so i'm giving and here after click on ok so when you click on ok it's a uh, processing right now and uh, here this is loaded here this is the record EM dpt and here this is the record emp tables select this two and here click on ok so this two are now importing inside power query editor and here I'm going to use DB table. So here, uh, when I right click uh, on this option, so here I could not find any pivot uh, kind of uh, things at this place. So what we need to do? Let's uh, select uh, DPT. So here it's not uh, showing pivot, but when I select here DNAME, so here pivot column, it's uh, come there. So that means so uh, we cannot do pivot on uh, on numeric field. We can do on or uh, character or string field. So here when I take the cursor on the pivot, so here this is the definition. Use names in the currently selected columns to create new columns. Tables uh, with nested column are not supported. And there is one more thing here. So with the help of pivot, we can convert this or uh, rows value into the columns. So here selected this part, here click on pivot column and uh, here there is no there is there is a new page open pivot columns use this and here going to select. So some aggregate function I will use later. Let's uh, use taunt aggregate and here click on OK. So here you can uh, there is one more thing this place some properties are there, it's not displaying, so let's uh, close that and click no and uh, here after uh, let's uh, open power and uh, this time you can see so this time you can see uh, properties place it's open now here uh, this is the source here this is the dname and dname has the accounting operation research cells so this uh, was so that was the uh, uh, rows after applying the pivot so it's now converting into the columns and here lock this all it's a display now let's go to navigation and here dnm uh, here selected now let's uh, go transformation here pivot so click on insert once again and here you can see so wait for a few seconds here dnm it's uh, selected now let's uh, select a lock and uh, this part that already selected and here let's click on count all so this time dpt number it's uh, displaying 10 20 30 40 and here accounting it's all it was uh, rows now converting the columns now here after let's go navigate and uh, this part that is selected now selecting lock and here pivot columns and uh, right now it's uh, selected okay leave this and uh, let's uh, so here let's uh, select count blank this time so here count blank then or uh, null value in place of null it's uh, displaying or uh, zero but when that has some values like 10 20 30 40 so it's uh, displaying one so one time going to use once again here pivot and here click on insert and uh, dpt number selected now 
let's uh, don't talk to get click on okay so now it's a displaying and here uh, 40 30 so it is the department number now then I'm now hereafter I'm going to use uh, some aggregate function so this uh, column that not required here this is not required and here let's uh, remove some Saturday column that required and uh, this is selected here DP number it's not you cannot see pivot but when I select job here you can see pivot column or uh, click on pivot and uh, here some so doing the sal sum on salary and here sum going to select now when I click OK so here or uh, analyst clerk uh, manager or uh, here or uh, president to uh, this all so that was uh, all rows now converted into the columns and DPD number or uh, 10, 20, 30 is, st is, st is still there now here I use uh, some aggregate function so here this is so uh, let's uh, select uh, this and see the record inside so sum of salary and here this is the job so here sales man has the salary 1600 salesman has the salary 1250 salesman 1250 and here 1500 so if you add this now here you can see so here let's uh, go salesman so after adding here the value is the displaying 5600 now hereafter let's go to navigate and uh, next is here so next is analyst 6000 is the displaying let's see so here this is job uh, with uh, analyst here the salary so 3000 and here you can see analyst so 333, 3000 3, plus 3000, the value is displaying 6000. So that here, it's a displaying 6000. After that, uh, uh, let's go uh, back to navigate and uh, here, not display, displays. And uh, uh, pivot column select. And here, uh, so cell. And you can use uh, any aggregate function like max. Uh, medium sum average so let's uh, select maximum and hereafter click on ok so db number 10 20 30 it's uh, displaying so analyst has the uh, highest salary 3000 so you can check now here this is the uh, analyst 3000 and here analyst 3000 so both are equal so it's uh, displaying 3000 now clerk clerk had 800 there is uh, one more 1100 95 so 13 is the highest salary of the clerk you can see so I don't know why it's not displaying ok do one thing let's uh, do pivot column once again and here insert sum ok sum and here maximum and the clerk has the uh, highest salary 1300 so displaying so uh, 1300 on 10 okay and 20 and you need to check one more thing like uh, here 20 so salesman has the uh, here 1313 so dp number also must be same and here 1600 1250 and if we scroll down so 30 also in this is 13 and 1500 and here uh, there is no salesman this is also 30 and 1250 so here the salesman's highest salary of 1500 so here you can see so here 1600 is so displaying now let's check once again so the, uh, there is the salesman 1500 now salesman uh, 1250 and I did not check this one uh, here 1600 no 1020 and 1300 highest side it's the display 1600 like percent to uh, uh, here 5000 is the highest salary and there is no any so it's all in so here uh, let's check percent percent 5000 on 10 
there is another percent so only one percent five thousand higher sided so display so this is the way we can use the uh, aggregate function on pivot columns and uh, the pivot columns mainly used to convert rows into columns so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you